to Everybody Loves Raiken, our 5th edition live play podcast. Last session, the crew finally got to explore their lodgings in Laramendus' magnificent mansion and took care of some much-needed rest time activity, uh, considering they'd had harrowing fights all that day against horrific monsters from the Far Realm. Now that they've taken care of pretty much everything they could want, some just went straight to sleep after a bath, uh, others wanted to do research uh, or speak to one another, uh, I do believe that we can go through with a full and long rest, but I will do one final check-in uh, with all the players before we hit the fast-forward to morning button. So I will start... Actually, I will start by uh, taking Riken aside for a quick question. Riken. Preston. I want to know uh, what you did. Uh, did you go to bed after um, dealing with the scene last session? Or would you have taken um, Lorelei back to Leah's room? Um, that's a good question. Because um, how late is it? Is it like super late? I mean, it's past the time that you would normally be asleep. Hmm. You're not sure at all what time of day it really is above the surface. You feel like things kind of got a little bit flipped once you got underground, but you're not super sure. Um, I don't think Riken would take her back just because if he feels like it would be past bedtime, he would think that she would be asleep already, and he wouldn't want to disturb her. Okay. And also because of what just transpired, um, he doesn't know what she'd think if he brought Lorelai to her. Was like, here, here you go. <laughs> she was with me. Here's your unconscious fairy. Yeah. Um. Okay. So you are going to. Uh, go to sleep. I remember that you had placed her on the bed and then you said you needed to stay up and think a bit, but once it was time to sleep, you would leave uh, her on the counterpane, move her I, to the... I, I would see if um, there was, like, any sort of, like, soft kind of material then that I could put on, like, the table and put her on then, so okay. I wouldn't squish her. Cool. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. All right. All right. Sorry Fishing village. Fishing village. All right. So, Cyrus, you got your flying lesson with your dad. Uh, yep. You you talked, you practiced, you <laughs> saw the others, you uh, gave Yukikaze problems, and then you went to bed. There's two more things I'd want to do. Mm. One, I'd want to see if it was possible to get one of the Unseen Servants to try and... Mm, I guess tailor would be the appropriate word. Tailor my, uh, a set of clothes. Somehow without adding materials mm -hmm. that would uh, fit the wings. <laughs> Do you, do you have the materials that you wish them to work on? Yes. I have, I have, I have like a spare set of clothes I can have them work on in case they, you know, butcher it. Um, do you have thread? I don't have thread, though, which is why I had said it had to be without adding material. Uh, so it's likely not possible, but, you know, I could still ask. I think you, you ask one of the servants, it looks at it looks back at you and then like with a gesture of its hand there is thread and then it cocks its head questioningly with a raised eyebrow 
this is the most like that you've been able to see many of the faces. It's just there isn't much of a face. There is just there, you can tell that this eyebrow is raised. <laughs> I can make stone, but I can't make thread. The thing conjured thread. Yeah, but it's but won't it that can't thread be. disappear when they leave? Yeah. That that is why it has cocked its head and raised an eyebrow. Um, I don't think that they can speak. It's funnier if they can't speak. Hmm. Out, out of curiosity, would um, there happen? To, would I happen to have noticed anything I could have used for thread inside the house box? Gonna summon a house in my house? Yep. If I have to. Last time we summoned that house, it summoned a bunch of purple worms. I don't want purple <laughs> worms in my house. <laughs> Lara Mendes is not here to be dealing with this, but... Uh, we're in a different dimension. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's what you think. Totally. I honestly have no idea. The anti-purple worms are the real ones you gotta be careful about. I mean... The, the house definitely had, like, beds with sheets which contain threads. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to butcher it, though, so I guess I'll have to, just have to wait. <clears throat> so, so much for that. Uh, moving on. Um, well... No, Maybe you can oh. unsew the clothes you already have to use the thread. No, I'll just... I'll leave it. Um... And then the other thing is I would want to step outside for, like, six seconds, use the, um, my stone ascending, and then head back inside. Okay. And go to bed. You do so. Alright, um, I'm working on constructing the ascending, so I'll just, uh, team it to you while you're doing other things. Uh, Laramundus, you had left off. Uh, reading your book in the library. Was there anything you wanted to do after that or go straight to bed? Um, before going to bed, Lermendus will uh, knock on Jebel's door and uh, ca to cast Dispel Magic into the staff, since that needs to be done before um, resting. I want that spell slot back. That's the best way I know how. Everything works better if I'm not trying to shove the uh, uh, miniatures into it like a dollhouse. <laughs> if I treat it like it's a real house, then it tends to work better. That is what I have learned. Makes sense. Okay, this must be over here. I do wish that names would not just sometimes refuse to appear. But yeah, also, there's also some tokens that the rest of us can't see. Tokens that the rest of you can't see? Yeah, no, we tried telling you that last time, but it didn't go through, I think. No, I, I think yeah. I had said that it's because that you have line cool. of sight, so if they're behind a wall, you can't see them. Yeah, but we can see some that's behind the walls. So yeah, we can see all the players okay. um, that are controlled by a player. So we can't see uh, where Jebel is because Jebel is controlled by the DM. Okay. Um, I'm in Doral's room, though. But... Or at least the token name says Doral for me. I got lied uh, to. It tells, uh, me, I, I... it tells me that Jebel is Doral. Yeah, I could also I can also see Doral when the door is open there, even though I am in a room with a closed door. Right, because one of the players like... has line of sight to him. Yeah, I see. <gasps> that explains why we, we could see yeah. Doral when we, we he share line of sight. Inside. I guess yeah, we, we do share now. Line of sight. That wasn't how it worked when uh, I first tested this. Yeah, uh, for sure. our hive mind. Players didn't share the line of sight before, but now they do. Hmm. hmm. All right. Um. 
Gumble, uh, your door gets knocked on while you were sleeping. Yes. Do you open it? I would, yeah. I get okay. up, open it. Aramundus comes in. Um, before I go to rest, I would like to cast a spell magic into your staff, if possible. And uh, if there was any other spell that I needed to cast, uh, now would probably be the time to do it. Um... Yeah, it's counterspell, not spell magic. You want counterspell. I think. Uh, just give me just one second while I check. Is d and Beyond got rid of notes? That would be strange. No. No. I still see my notes. Uh, I'm just gonna refresh. If you're not signed in, you can't see the notes on your character sheet because that's a owner only thing. I'm signed in though, that's Everyone was signed out recently because of an update to it. No, I am signed in. Oh. Okay. Refresh that see. <laughs> that's a fascinating inclusion. Yeah. The, the dust that comes when they drop it? Yeah, when I drop it, yeah, it I, kicks I, up dust. I, I just noticed that as well. It's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I have to like, go into my collections and back into the character sheet that way to get it. But it's working again. So, uh, it's a level three. So, yes. I just... Counterspell. Yes, I can recast Counterspell into it. I was just trying to remember what the name of this building was. Do you just stab him? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. He was casting his spell into the staff for him. <sighs> I don't know where that fucking came that from. So <laughs> what the world? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> In my own home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing as uh, Riken asked last time and trying to be more zoomed in so that he can appreciate the random tokens Thank we're you. using. I wish that they were less random. I wish that we could have the tokens that we made on, on uh, Hero Forge. Hopefully someday. Yeah. Hopefully okay. soon. And yeah, they're, they're working on that. So just don't know when. Yeah, might be. Uh, so, time to go over the staff. Okay. To Laramantis. Uh, I cast Counterspell into it. Um, you should note that your Counterspell bonus is uh, plus 10. So I think it was plus 9 last time. Um, did you need a shield? No, I still have that. Okay. I think. Didn't use it. Uh, let's see. Plus 10. Okay. I have that noted. <laughs> Why is everyone shooting me? <laughs> <laughs> this time it was me. <laughs> kind of fun because I can, see, I can see the light from the hall just, just come over. <laughs> and to Vendar. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you cast your spell into it and return the, mace, the staff to him. What then? Um, if there's nothing else that he needs, then I'm gonna go and rest, I suppose. I can't think of anything. That man just doesn't need doors. Just jump over it. Just jump over it. Oh, before he leaves, I will Wait say, you know, we should do some more language lessons at some point. Um, gladly. Wrong room. 
yeah, um, I was wondering why you were at Yuki's room. I don't remember just... which one's Laramendus. <laughs> uh, I think I was all the way, just all the way down at the end of this hallway. It also looks like, like right, the right is about to... Yeah, it, it, was looks like... Like it... it was one of these two. Oh, I guess it's the one uh, with the other all... door. Yeah, it's the one that was open. Uh, it looks like Yuki Kasa is about to roll out of his bed. He's fine. I'm sure he's fine. He's got really good balance. Laramendus made himself a mansion and didn't give himself his own room. Sleeps in the hallway. There's a library. <laughs> And it's his room. It's very large. <laughs> it is it's half a very a comfortable project. chair. I bring a blanket with me. <laughs> the library is very large. It also apparently consists of everything that's in his brain. <laughs> Which I think is awesome. <laughs> Lots of empty shelves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only I could get the whole of that book. Don't forget about it someday. <laughs> Okay, um, let me just, the, uh, you went to bed. I did. You did. Bendar went to bed, right? Yeah. Because he's happily asleep. Correct? I write him a diary before, before going, uh, going, going to sleep. Mm -hmm. But uh, it takes some time. Considering uh, the coffee, mm -hmm. but it's also you know a, a planned thing. So I don't know. Do you have to sleep for that to start or what? Think... Uh, Sintaramel. Oh, um, uh, we'll get to that. But you do notice that um, uh, Lorelai is no longer like tranced. She just seems very pensive as you write. And says nothing mm. before you go to sleep. Very. Okay. Riken. Sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep. And Jebel, after your uh, discussion with uh, Lara Mendes, you're going to sleep? Yep. Okay. Then, you may all benefit from a long rest. Woohoo! Oh, I'm a day. Oh, yeah. Why do I have that exhaustion? What happened? Uh, you failed a you failed a um check when you were pushing yourself. All right. Um, yeah, for a long. Producing. So one level of exhaustion will be removed by sleeping. If you only have one, then it's removed. Where is the long rest yeah. button again? I uh, should be yeah, at the top. top. Yeah, I don't see it. Share, lo uh, short rest, okay. long rest campaign. Ray, Are you signed in? Acro across from my name. Campaign is the only thing that's there for me. It's my name, no, and same. then over on the right, campaign. Oh, try hitting uh, the refresh button. Right, if that doesn't work, go into like your collections, my characters, and go in back into the character sheet that way. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Refreshing didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, strange. Yeah, they, should... they're <laughs> yeah. It should look yeah. the same as ever. Yeah, it, it didn't. But yeah, going into collection okay. and go back right. into the character work. Alright, everybody make sure that your long rest button is there. Click long rest and then remember that you have to click the confirm long rest afterward. It gives you three seconds. And that should reset all of your spent spell slots, your health, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you wake up. It is daylight uh those of you that have windows you can see that the courtyard is uh lit by the yellow light of morning um the, the light did seem to be changing throughout your time here even though when you look up at the sky there is no sun there is no sky there is only void uh um, directions of the shadows gone but they seem to be straight down <laughs> 
It's like there are no shadows. There are there are shadows. There's just there doesn't appear to be a light source, even though there is clear everything is acting like there is a light source. Yeah, like there is there clearly should be a sun, given the shadows how move. everything is. But so you can use a sundial in here, even though there's a sun. Yeah. It seems like that should be the case, yes, I will say. In any event. There is not a sundial. Alright. But there should be a sundial. You each wake the next morning. Uh, Everything seems to be as you left it the night before, when you went to sleep. Uh, With the exception of Leah, you notice that Lorelai is not in the room with you. Uh, Okay. Uh, I'm going to call out for her with the telepathy, because I can do that. You, uh... You do hear her respond, groggily, saying, What do you need? Where where are you? I'm right here. Oh. I'll be right there. <laughs> I just mess up. <laughs> uh, okay. Should I be worried? Uh, no. It's fine. Um... About a minute passes, and then you hear, like, the tiniest tapping on your door. Uh, I open it. And Lorelai flutters inside. She looks rested. Okay. Looks a little annoyed. What's going on? What do you mean? Where are you? Um, I was in the mansion. Ever fairest the mansion? Yeah. yeah. But you went in this room. I went to speak with Riken. You went to you went to speak with why? Because I had things I needed to say to him. Okay. Now I am worried. We didn't threaten him, did you? She does not answer. Lorelai. What? We didn't threaten Dad. She continues not answering. (laughs) Oh no. I need- I need you guys to uh, get along. Oh, I don't think that'll be a problem. He and I are gonna be best friends. (laughs) Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Ah, this is- uh, this is gonna be an awkward conversation uh, during breakfast, I just know it. I think you underestimate the accommodation that one warrior has for another. You didn't like him before. Yeah, well, situations change. So, it's breakfast. I could eat. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Knowing Laramendus is spirit things, you probably just find it immediately if you go to the dining hall. Well, you seem bothered by me not being with you, so we should go together. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go. I can need more of that magic drink. The coffee? Is that, that's what it's called? Speed juice. Speed juice. Speed juice. Speed juice. That's what it was. So all of you can head down and eat breakfast. Yukikaze is gonna be fiddling around trying to get his armor back on. <laughs> well, actually, no. We're in a safe spot. I'm leaving the armor up there. I was gonna say, if you start trying to get it on, 
you see a servant appear and uh, be- begin helping you. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. Actually, so what's going to happen is going to stop midway and be like, wait, my stuff is safe here. I can go no relax worries. without my armor. I'm going to take off the few pieces I started to put on, put them down with the rest of the stuff, then go downstairs. Without there is a slight pause from the servant that was helping you. And then, like, <laughs> you, they, he doesn't, like, it doesn't look like they, like, like lean down a little dejectedly. Uh, like, annoyed at the amount of work that they had done before you realized that. But, like, it feels that way. And they begin, they, they continue to help you take everything uh, away and then um, organize it all for you as, as you go away. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look at him, and even though I know he's part of the house, I'll still say, I'm sorry, it's morning, I'm a little fickle. Uh, the servant will nod, and continue putting your stuff uh, nicely set away. I would like to have a group of four servants that follow me around and take care of everything for me. <laughs> there, Fredward, Edward, Tedward, and Tim. When you ask for this, Fredward does visibly look insulted. <laughs> As if his uh, services aren't sufficient. Uh, but there are three other ones there with him, all with name tags that say, what was it? There was Tedward, Edward, Nedward, Tedward, and Tim. Okay, yeah, they, there are ones all with those those names that are following <laughs> you around wherever you are going. Ah, now this is what it feels like. I missed being. Uh, I missed this. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. I imagine Leah just sitting down, like, putting her hand on the table and then immediately just get coffee in it. Is Laramendus around the last time you got coffee not in here? I feel like there had been a discussion that you weren't allowed to have coffee. Because nah, it, you had coffee. It was a discussion about me not allowed to have beer. Okay. <laughs> it also feels that. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> or it was wine, I can't remember. It was alcohol. Um, it, it was alcohol of some kind. <laughs> yeah. That was Might the first have been alcohol of any kind. Yeah. It was the, the chief of your village that gave the alcohol. Right. That <laughs> did. Don't oh. believe the old man. <laughs> Look, he needs to get enjoyment some somehow. There's not a lot going on in that village. <laughs> oh god, what was his name? I think I ended up flirting with Yuka Kase during that scene. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> I have discovered something. What? If I hold shift and then click on a token... I can then, like, remove layers and then click to place them in another room rather than having to walk them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think well, we had it. slightly mentioned it last week. That's uh, how you're intended to teleport creatures. I see. Yeah, I, I can told you that last time. time. <laughs> I told you about the teleport. I didn't know you could change layers, though, so that, that was new for me. But Yeah, I didn't remember. Oof. I think we got everybody else. I just teleported Riken. Right? No. Still up here. <gasps> Doral. I don't blame Doral for sleeping longer. He had a very rough day. Did. After Doral out the room. He's going wish for your brain back. I'd forgotten Doral and Resin. Got a full house, guys. Look at all these freaking adventurers. Who's, who's the black 
uh, Dragonborn. That's Resim. That's Resim, okay. Hit the wrong button. Yeah, some of the... Some of the tokens still just don't... They refuse to show up with name. Maybe if I move them, then they'll show up with... Anyway. It it does show up with a whole tab. I just no, I, I hold tab in certain and some. Um... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh no, Yuki Kaze! <laughs> what did you do? Uh, he is now yeah, the main he, course. He's, <laughs> <laughs> he's the what? <laughs> Never mind. Deep some ass. When Doral comes down, I'll tell him. Oh, Mom says hi. He's going to pull up to the table next to you and try to smile to himself. Say, when you speak to her next, uh, return the pleasantry for me. Perfect. I'll contact her when I know that it's safe to, uh, when I know that I've got something worth telling her. What, and wings don't count? I can't cast Did you spells. not tell her that? I ran out of space, and I can only do it once. So that's gonna have to be a tomorrow thing for me. He's gonna, like, place a hand on your shoulder and just say, I can't cast spells for the time being, boy. Right. That's, um, good point. But as soon as I can... I'll talk to her. And I don't think she needs to know I can't cast spells. I certainly didn't tell her. Good lad. I'll I'll look down the table too, uh, noticing a conversation, be like, Oh, by the way, Cyrus, sorry I was half asleep last day. Congratulations on your wings. Yeah. You got wings? Um Yeah, let me show you what they're supposed to look like. I'll change my scales back to their regular color. Uh, and, you know, pop the wings out. They look so much funnier when they're what the, fleshy The hover back. is weird. It wow. looks like it would work if you had pieces. I like it because you can grab any part of the stem so you can really choose how you are thinking about interacting with the piece. Yeah, but in real life they wouldn't hover over it. I know, but this is a game and that's, that's part of the fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he, he said it looks like it would if you had actual piece, but it, I mean... No, it's... I I meant that he's like up on a, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Great. Yep. Okay. In any event. Well, co congrats, I guess. Uh, how, how does that work? Are you gonna become a full dragon? No. <laughs> You're just like some seriously depressed tones in his voice, but. <laughs> This this is about as close as I'm gonna get. <clears throat> the uh, oh. the spread in front of you is large and delicious. Uh, a large as wide assortment of meats and uh, grains, beans, uh, drinks, water, vegetables. I want to be like munching on the food, like with a full mouth. But wait. Laramundus, if all this stuff is fake in here, is this real food? The food... Any food eaten within the mansion will sustain you when you leave. You cannot take any with you. Aww. Okay, good to know. I'll keep my one out. <laughs> Wait, can we imagine what we really want right now? Uh, I'm sure that if you ask one of the servants, they could bring you whatever it is that you're asking for. Ooh. I'm, I'm, already, drink put... I'm oh. already drinking the speed juice. Oh, gosh. I, put, I put all my food down and I look very, very lost in thought. 
I'm, I'm not hovering. <laughs> You're just vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's it's good in, like in the morning. Meat, lots of meat. It helps you wake up in the morning. A, a platter gets put down in front of Riken and then uncovered, and it's just it's just a mountain of like every cut that you could think cooked to perfection. It's just it's honestly almost horrifying. The, just the pile of meat here. <laughs> like, it's just gonna be like, I... I want to always use this place. <laughs> and then the second one comes out. unhinges and he just engulfed all of it. <laughs> the Down the hatch. Servant's gonna come out with, uh... A giant omelet, like a really huge omelet with all delicious meats and vegetables in it. And fruit, and then a fruit pie, or a pie. There you go. You guys, you guys yeah. are going to look very happy. Fruit pie looks good. Yeah, we'll have a fruit pie as well. The uh, drow guides, you notice, stalk into the room, move to the end of the table, and begin... Uh, picking at food, uh, and quietly discussing it. <laughs> they still are using Undercommon to speak to one another. Mm. That's why um, we understand that. I will may not... say to them... Go ahead. Oh, after you. Uh, I will say to them, uh, if there's anything at the table that uh, does not strike your fancy, you need only ask one of the servants, and I'm sure they'll be able to accommodate whatever you want. While Cyrus may not know what they are, he is somehow able to imagine uh, mozzarella cheese sticks, and that is what he gets. Uh, Eren, looking a far cry from his condition the previous night, uh, turns towards you, Laramendus, and makes a hand gesture that you uh, don't recognize because they wouldn't have had a reason to use it. Um, during the combat situations, uh, but you feel is probably a symbol of thanks. Since it wasn't just their simple, understood gesture that you would have noticed. Mm. Makes sense. I uh, will smile and then go back to um, my breakfast. Oh god, which which one was injured? It was Aaron. Aaron right. was was injured, yes. Uh, Aaron, you doing all right this morning? Are you speaking to him in common or under common? Under common? That's what he's used to, so I don't see a reason to make him feel uncomfortable when I'm asking how he's doing. Um, he he kind of at hearing under common from across the table. He he looks up and around and eventually um, finds you. Uh, I'll try and weigh him down when I see him looking around. <laughs> He, he, he finds you over top, um, Doral and, uh, uh, Jebel. Um, and, uh, he, he, he seems to, like, uh, finger the holes in his armor, uh, but then kind of smiles and says, uh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better since yesterday. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> um, I trust, he says slowly, all of you are well and ready for the next, the last leg of this journey. Uh, most of us, anyways. Who isn't ready? Well. I believe they're all ready, just not as, um, well. I just need to get geared up and I'm ready to go. After I finish my food real quick. Can we um, just not leave? This place is awesome. I'll, I'll turn to Doral and say, uh, the mansion will stay as it is for another, I'd say, the rest of the spell's duration. Uh, it lasts for 24 hours. Oh, okay. Um, if... 
you wanted to continue resting. I, I imagine meeting up afterwards would be difficult, but... Um, what happens if you stay when the spell is missed? Uh, you are mostly peaceably ejected into a um, unoccupied space uh, as close to the door as possible. It doesn't just go poof into nothing. It's uh, good. Well, this space does poof into nothing. It just does not take visitors with it. What about objects? What if I leave something here? Uh, it would also be ejected into a nearby location. As close to the door as possible. What if I take something from here and I put it in another pocket dimension? Say, for example, a bag of holding. If you put it in a bag of holding in here. Or take it out and then put it in a bag of holding. In here. Um, it will disappear. The bag it of will holding? also disappear if you take it out and put it in a bag of holding, because as soon as it leaves, it'll disappear. Huh. So it's smart enough to know that something is in a different dimension. The objects created here aren't strictly real. Which is why the, the question about the food was a um, very interesting and valid one. Hmm. What if someone gets hurt in here? What happens uh, to the wound? They will still be hurt. You, or whoever it is that gets hurt in here, is real. But what if they're hurt with an object, say if a knife is created in here? <laughs> well, the, I, the I think that real. while <laughs> objects are in here, they are real enough. They just can't leave this place. Interesting. I mean, not 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 that I plan to try it. You held the books in your hand, didn't you? You went to the library yesterday. Yes. Who who am I speaking to? Doral. Okay. Um. But yeah, I, I guess I did. Oh, they're real while they're here. But if you leave, then they're gone. Place is what we call temporal. Bleeding. Liminal. It's at the edge of existence. And exists at the only. first word. <laughs> only, well, temporal versus temporary, which it is actually both. I don't understand the difference. Hmm. I suppose it gets into depth of magic that I'm not prepared to speak on at the moment. But suffice it to say that uh, these things are both real and not real. Such is the way of magic. Speaking of magic, um, I just, you know, just in case for uh, future reference, is there anything that could, um, Make my wings disappear without my, um, consent. I would imagine a sword. <laughs> if you have them removed, yes. Um, I don't believe they're affected by anti-magic field. Are they? It doesn't say one way or the other, so that's up to you. Hmm. Oh, so, like, I imagine to spell magic wouldn't work because it's not a spell, but anti-magic field might because it is, like, at least the project of manifesting it is magic, so maybe if I'm in it, I can't change whether they're there or not, but maybe not get, but maybe it doesn't just get rid of them. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> um, but until such time as you've uh, got that answer, I would be careful. All right. 
I don't think they're as flimsy as all that, but it never hurts to be safe. Indeed. Excuse me. Um, you'll notice that, um, Thela has been kind of wringing his hands at the end of the table. Uh, he hasn't been eating much, even though now and again Irin will offer him something. Um, he mostly has been, uh, refusing it. And finally he kind of presses his hands against the table surface and, and stands up, pushing the chair out. He says, I... I think you all should know something about me. Hmm? I swore an oath last night. To whom? To myself. And Irin. Vendar and Laramundus witnessed it for me. And through this oath, I have been... I have created... Gained... Power... I... I have become what you surface dwellers call a paladin. Oh! To illustrate? To myself. How does that work? I look at Rakin. Paladins are granted their power through their devotion to an oath. Through their promise it is the power of that pact they form with themselves. That is... Those are the stories that I had been told, and that is how it worked for me. Now... I think your question is, would I intend to use my power to serve the will of Ilistrei? And to that, I say, yes. But my oath was not with her. It's still very confusing, but... As long as you're fighting with us, I'm glad. I do not think that you will need... ...my services or those of Irin much longer, but... ...in the interest of... ...being honest and building trust, as he says it, he, um... Uh, uh, tries to make eye contact with, uh, Vendar and Laramandus. I felt that I should inform you of this change in circumstance. Ahead of you finding out some other way. Hmm. Huh? I'm glad to... I'm glad to hear that you are, you know, that you've started to find your own way. I have been fighting for my own way of living as long as I can remember. power of that will, my will, will be power to fight those battles I could not before. And for that, I am grateful. For that, I am grateful to all of you. The will, the pact, those are mine. You have had a large impact, positive impact, on the lives of myself, Kieran, 
and the other citizens of Umbralites. And I do not believe that I had properly thanked you. Drow are not in the habit of thanking servers for anything, so... Forgive me taking a while to break the old habits. Certainly happy we could help. We believe that you will do important work. Have our support. We are not present. As he says this, um, Aaron, uh, places his hand, uh, atop Thalus, and seems to nod to him, assuringly. Yes. Thala does speak for us both, in that you have my thanks as well. And you two have ours. Without you, I... Uh, I imagine we would have been lost down here. We... will lead you to the city of Onyx. What you do from there will likely not involve us, but... We do wish your good fortune and success. Um, uh... Tristan, which one of those two were the one that led Leah to the bath in Number Light? Iren, the one speaking now. Okay, well then, uh, Leah is, after Jebel says his thing, Leah would also say, Oh, and without you, I will not be able to take a bath. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to be of service to those guests of High Priestess Morwen. I will show you to the bath anytime you forget where it is. <laughs> I imagine I at that a, a unseen servant can be seen harumphing behind him. <laughs> <laughs> the Duke of Jobs. In any event, we are ready to leave anytime you let us know. Have this conversation been in Underdark? Yeah, it's been in Undercommon. Undercommon, yeah, Underdark, Undercommon. Uh, that means that there's two of us that might not understand it, then. I don't know if, uh, if Raysom, uh, no, I'm the common, but I, uh, I have. I don't think Doral does. Uh, I'm. Mm, I'm not sure if Doral has reason to know it. Resum seems to be following along just fine. He hasn't said okay. anything, but he doesn't seem confused. Um, uh, we had asked about Resum when we met him um, about Undercommon, so that we could continue, so that we could switch to Undercommon to make it so everyone understood what was being said. That's true. I cannot remember the answer. <laughs> Resum, you know, also knows the undercommon sign language, because he was using that to communicate with them when they, what, when he wasn't on the uh, telepathic bond. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I believe he also said when we met him that he needed to communicate down there for what he was doing. Hmm. Hmm. So it's just Doral then that we are sure about. Doral seems sure. to be enjoying his breakfast and pleasantly ignoring all of you. <laughs> well, that is to be expected regardless of him understanding it or not. <laughs> Once the conversation seems to be over, uh, I'll ask Doral, uh, did you want to know what was being said or could you actually follow? I 
I honestly don't know. Hmm. Something about leaving soon, I'm sure. Um, yes. There were a few other things. I can, uh, catch you up if you'd like. Hmm, later. It's fine. And with that, I'll go back to eating. Doesn't come and make me stop floating. Uh, why? You're drinking the speed juice. <laughs> it's just, it's distracting me. I know. You're distracting while you're high on coffee. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> uh, Resin quietly finishes his meal. He just says, I will go back and be ready to depart. Hopefully we can find my friend today. Your friend? I, th I thought you were alone down here. Nah, I was alone because I got separated from my friend. You might remember the roof collapsed and I fell? Yeah, right. I left my friend at Papav. I imagine I will find them ahead. They should be headed to the city of Onyx as well, though we were looking for work. Are they also Dragonborn? No. Tiefling. Oh. Well, I'm fine with them. Well, I'm fine with the one, but... Yeah. Uh, whatever. That is good. In any event. Prism will also await you to be ready to leave. It's awkward, but I... What's awkward? No, no, it's just Leah mumbling to us, <laughs> being <laughs> annoyed by her by herself. Mm. <laughs> the, yeah. the food tastes good. Yeah. One might say explicit. Sp uh, no, that is the wrong word. Splendid. Splendiferous. Oh. The, the magic was extremely well designed. I'm glad I could finally finally figure out those last few pieces. Like, it, it, it translate the last few pieces that I knew needed to be um, done properly. Um, it's it's an upgrade from the tiny hat. Uh, Morden Kanan was certainly known for his um, power and uh, desire for comfort. That Did he guy. make this spell as well? <laughs> Liam was much more practical of a man. Oh, there are different people who made these things. I don't know much about magic history. Someday. Oh, sorry. Uh, my offer does stand to begin uh, teaching you... Um, magic the way wizards cast it. And like I said, when we have some, um... Less, um... When we're not under such a time crunch, I sh shall certainly take you up on that. There are definitely a few things I'm curious about. And, uh, they are? Well, I can't come up with anything now. Uh, if anything does come up, I'm always happy to expound upon um, anything that I have uh, the, the knowledge to back up. Uh, first, I'm going to have to try finding the tuning forks and... Um, yeah, and uh, making may, maybe making like a protection talisman, something on uh, that line. You know what we talked about yesterday. Uh, and yeah, as as I had said, uh, the tuning forks, one from the material plane, should be um, easy next time we're in a large city. For the other ones, uh, the university, if we're ever there, is going to be the easiest place to get one. Or um, uh, possibly 
a, a guild location in one of the other major cities. Um, I could see them being more expensive there and uh, us possibly needing to answer more questions considering the um, power required to uh, need those as a focus. Um, and for the talisman, uh, I can think of no one better than Nalia to try and get that working right. Sounds like we need to visit the university at some point. There's a lot of things that could come in handy there. As long as we get to leave with our artifacts intact. Um, I get to the voice in the sky. I... Can I think of a reason why they would prevent us from leaving with the stuff that we came with? Like, I could see certain people being, like, pushy about wanting to study things. But, like, is the university known for robbing people like that? It, um... It is certainly not known for it. <laughs> okay. But, you know, most... Uh, m m magical items are created within its bounds mm -hmm. um, and those that come from without are few and far enough between that it's not something that would be a matter of easy record mm -hmm. okay um, I imagine that uh we don't need to be brazen about any of the things that we have should we go and visit the university. Um, and as long as we're careful about things, that we should be careful about things and, and more importantly, who we, who we speak with, then uh, I think that we should be fine. Are Mendes planning to return to his roots? It would be a fun visit. And seeing where you spend so much of your time, not just a part of a magic dream, but in reality. I mean, Laramendus was not aware of the dream. And so all of you would get to see how much has changed in the past 200 some odd years. Uh, no, it wasn't 200 years for that. I mean, Leah said, said, said that in character, by the way. Oh, um... I'm trying to remember exactly what you, uh, what what had you said so that I can properly respond to it. Be it outside it would, of a magic dream. Yeah, it would be fun to visit it and not just a part of a magic dream. So. I imagine that. Well, honestly, I would be curious how much um, things are different between the dream and reality, aside from the things that have changed in the in the past. Um, 150 or so years. I'd like to know how much is built solely from my memory of the place and uh, how much is just actual reality. That would be that would be very interesting. And so you have like perfect notes. memory? Um, my memory, while good, does not extend perfectly that far back. I do have a question, though. You are working on a, a spell at the time. That's what caused, or at least if that's what we suspect, caused the dream. Yes. Right? The, the effects that you had described did line up fairly nicely with the effects of the spell that I'm working on. Uh, making any progress with that? I think I had uh, I figured out a few more pieces that should help me fit things together uh, a bit better. Um, the the was it Mirage Arcane is that the name of the spell? Yeah. The Mirage Arcane spell should be an interesting thing to pull into it. Or it should give me some decent decent notes. 
How old are you, Larry Mendes? Uh, 306. Oh, only that, huh? How long were how long did you spend at the college? Uh out of character, I'm trying to remember. He went there when he was a hundred. He spent sixty the past sixty years at the village, and I think like twenty years or so traveling before that. Um So he was there for like 120 years. Long time. Just really live that long? Do I I have live? Before he even started? Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um. My my parents were quite insistent that I I stay, uh, in until I had been around 100. They. It was actually my first time coming to the material plane. Do I get to live that long? Um... In this line of work? Half-elves no. are... It, it, that is an unfortunately true remark. Um, half-elves, while uh, blessed with more longevity than humans, um, have their lifespans in general dictated more by their human side than their elven side. Ah, uh, bummer. So, I mean, evidently I don't like asking this, but with how long you tend to live, do you tend to see shorter lived races like, I don't know, me and Vindar? Something closer to like pets, things that you would know you'll outlive, but get attached to anyways? Uh, hey, well, I haven't pet. had a pet. Uh, and most pets are not capable of decent speech. Um, <laughs> There's Kyoko. <laughs> I said most. Um, I will admit that uh, upon meeting most of you, I, I considered most of you um, like children. I mean, I just looked down the line of people under the age of 20 over here. Yeah, I mean, we kind of all grouped up on one side of the table. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm age. just like, like looking, and then I do, I, I do turn past you to look at the, the other ones. <laughs> I, I do, I do look at all of you when I say that. What? I'm not a kid. How old are you? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> it is 20s. I lost I, I, track I, I, around the time. My home exploded. Uh, I think I had him Apparently, at Apparently, Mendes was a kid till he was 100. 24. I was at home until I was 100. <laughs> that's how elves do. That, that much I know. I'm 90. Wait, when you grow that old, at, at what age do you become mature? They mature slowly. Um, physically or mentally? Both. Or culturally. Or that, yeah. All. All of the above. Uh, 100 is an entirely reasonable age for me to uh, leave home and begin making my own way. You grow uh, all until then? Like, physically? Um, out of character. I, I think that elves age basically up to 20 as humans do and then stay basically stay that way forever pretty much yeah right yeah um no it's uh, given our longevity um it's leaving when we are physically mature is um well it would be rude Elman. and 20 years is nothing. Hmm. Yeah, but how, how old does gnomes get? Or is that rude to ask? It's fascinating, as this conversation is. 
How about we take it on the road with telepathic blood? We are burning daylight, as it were. Wow. You guys get the telepathic bond. Oh. Um, <laughs> did, did Thomas go AFK? I forgot that I was a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know gnomes. Like, how long do gnomes live? <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> Licks <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> The fact he was raised I... in a forest, he may not actually know. No, it's just when when the whole thing about tieflings came up earlier, and his partner was a tiefling. I spent ages trying to think of what race is not represented in this group, but now I was like gnomes. Norals <laughs> a gnome, and then it's just like went on from there, and I just got so well confused. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yes, I know. <laughs> he does now. His brain was just off track. Uh... Yeah. Uh, no, so no, I'm saying, what, 350 years? Something like that. Wow. Yeah. I wonder what I just read 500. Is it? It, it depends on the. Um... Well, Googling so how long do gnomes live 5e. 500 years is, is the answer that Google gets. And, and Cyrus, uh, half half. You can things. live 350 to almost 500 years. And yeah. I think we can make it to about 200. Actually, I don't particularly expect to hit that benchmark given current events, but hey, you know, there's hope. I mean, you wouldn't have made it to that benchmark if I didn't revive you. Uh, nice. that. Dad and Yuki, how about Dragonborn? Um, we live about the same as humans, roughly. 80 I something? Chips. Yeah, around 80, give or take. Okay, good. I'm not a. It's not just me and Vendor that is going to be young in comparison. The rest of these guys get old. I mean, even you will live a lot longer than me. And Reagan. That, that's just sad. Oh, that for a second. Yeah. Kids should outlive their parents. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> just not by like a hundred years. Once they're gone, then who cares? How? Bye, Reagan. Eh, everybody loved it. <laughs> In the middle of this conversation about aging, Chabu will just go, Yeah, if I become a powerful enough dude, I could live to be about 5,000 years. What? Yeah, druids live a long time. Wait, do you Party cows come out for this? <laughs> <laughs> That is cool. I wonder if I wonder if my patronage can do something with age. Can it, Lorelai? Mm. Normally, but if one is to have their life extended extended by the Fey, one becomes Fey. That's possible. She sort of just, um... Seems to be examining her fingernails very closely. <laughs> there are certainly stories. Uh, I will be quite honest and say that none of them are pleasant. Fuck pleasant, Ray. If I can become full fey, I will take it. Sounds cool. I don't want to hear the stories part. I, I think next on. time next time we're in the mansion I might have some things that you might want to read. Given our connection, I am closer to the mortal races than most others of my kind. I have been given a perspective by that that other Fey would find alien, as they find most of you. I don't think, from my experience of you, your family, that you would actually want that. 
but that will be your decision to make should the option be presented to you. Hmm. I guess, uh, considering our, our, our goal, like what we're fighting for, I probably won't get the choice. Just try not to die. Not so far I'm doing a rather time. poor attempt. I'll try better. Poor attempt? I haven't had to revive you yet. I was without a brain. Uh, you will yeah, notice wow. that uh, Lorelai also shoots you a look as she tells you this. <laughs> What? You're, you're Leah! You're, you're still here. You're still my daughter. We also need to have a talk, Dad. Just talk the two of us. Right here. No, just the two of us. We're going to break out in the song right now. Just the two of us! <laughs> Yeah. See, I avoided doing that. <laughs> if you need time to speak, she like draws her small sword. Says, I can make sure the others get ready to leave. Why do you have to be so threatening? Stop being threatening. <laughs> she shrugs and, and flies over to Cyrus and begins poking him in the cheek with her sword. <laughs> Hurry up, let's leave. Time to go. I'm gonna try and take her sword and use this toothpick. Oh, that's not gonna go well. She's gonna attack you. Threat <laughs> or not, it is a good idea. Um, I will be in the entryway ready to cast um, um, the name of the spell is Escaping Sam. Telepathic Bond. Um, <laughs> so that it is there before we leave. Uh, she's going to be thrusting at your fingers as you try to take the sword. She's going to get a couple good pricks in. Lorelai, please stop. I don't Go want have to have a conversation. To... I'm having fun. I don't want to have to resummon you in case he uses a spell. He's going to flit off and stand on one of the candelabra. And huff. So, are the rest of you going to get ready to depart? Yeah, I'll uh, start. Yeah. I'll start getting out my gear and I'll have the help of the servant to help me. Alright. And you may move your characters around however you see fit, and I'm going to pull them aside for a conversation. Not you. 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 We. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, dining room clears out until you are the only ones left. And Lorelai. Uh, no, Lo Lorelai leaves too, following the uh -oh. others. Yeah, so just the two of us. Okay. I didn't know she had left because you had said that she. Uh. So, um. I heard you got a visit. A visit? From Lorelai. Oh, yes. Little Lorelai. Yes. I need to know what happened. She wouldn't tell me. I. You know, she was threatening me because you lost your brain. Said I need to do a better job taking care of you, which I agree. I'm sorry I let that happen to you. You didn't really have much of a chance to stop it. It was in the blink of an eye. Yes, but... 
I should have stayed closer to you to try to make sure just nothing in general would happen to you. That's not easy. We know how I fight. I teleport all over the place. <sighs> yes. But I also wasn't towards the front either. I guess that's true. We were very disoriented when we started that fight. Considering Vendar just triggered it. Yeah, and we were kind of surrounded a little bit too. We it's... should do a better job at, you know, planning an attack. Yes, I mean, we are battle buddies, aren't we? Yeah. It's just, I don't like, like it when you two don't get along. I, I want you to get along. Well, well, I mean, she's very protective of you in her own way, and I'm protective of you in my own as well. It's She's, she's wore an oath to protect me. It's different. Well, as your father, I also kind of took my own oath, taking, uh, taking you under my wing. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> we're going to butt heads a little bit, but... I mean, that's... We're... We're both very stubborn. <laughs> Yeah, they got, uh, you got along in a warrior way. What did you mean about that? Uh, I mean, you just saw her. She was doing the old stabby stab to Cyrus. She did that to me as well. And you, what, finger fought her? Yeah, a little sparring match. Ah, I can't believe this. I mean, thanks for not poofing her, I guess. Oh no, I, I wouldn't think of it, but it was a little difficult anyways to do. She was very, very speedy. Being all small. Gotta be that. You should get Kubriel back at some point, by the way. I think she's been gone for too long. Well, the caves aren't a good place. Too, uh, closed in. Uh, but Once I... we get out, perhaps. But Lorelai was very cross about being gone for that long. Uh, even though they can't tell time exactly, then no time has passed. So be wary of that. Oh, I'm sure I'll pay for it. I'm no sure, sure you will. Gonna have to do so many pets. Yep. I'll I'll let her lick Cyrus a little bit. Careful, Doral is not around. <laughs> well, are you feeling better now? Yeah, a little. I'm still kind of tense. We're thinking about everything. Yeah. I just hope we won't have to fight those guys again. At least for until we dealt with the dragons. One uh, world's ending threat is enough. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well. We'll face whatever we need to face together. And we'll make through it together. And if you have to do that, you need to keep your promise not to use that armor ability. If you have to do this together, I need you as well. You have my word that I will exhaust any option before I have to use that. I guess that's the best I can get. Okay. 
good. We should we should get ready. Just yeah. If if Lorelai threatens you again, let me know, okay? Of course, I will send you upon her. And then uh, Riken will reach up and rub uh, Leah's head. Uh, she will quickly do fix her hair. <laughs> head back. Ah! <laughs> the, car- the animations in this thing is the perfect balance between aggressive and stupid. Yep. <laughs> Happy right. about the head pat. Woo. Should we uh meet up with the rest of the group then? Yes, let's. All right, I think they will head off to join the rest. Alrighty. What the? What? How did I remember? No, okay. Aya, aya, aya. I hucked everybody back into the correct channel. Okay, so you gather your stuff. You make ready to depart, and everybody gathers at the door. Gaza isn't there yet. Gaza isn't there yet. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Rizm will look around and just say, uh, Where is other Dragonborn? Oh, there he is. I'm here. I'd uh, get my gear on. Yeah, before we leave, uh, Riken is going to uh, activate his armor, so he is wearing it again. You, uh... You sing the song of your new people. You sing the song of the followers of Cord. And, uh... Magical transformation. Yeah, you do a magical world transformation. Um, not naked and all. <laughs> did you do it upstairs or did you do it in front of the rest of the group? I mean, literally right there before we're leaving. Okay, for some reason I couldn't see your token here. Uh, did you bring it? Because I'm I'm not in that. Gosh darn it! I forgot that you're not in that. <laughs> yeah, so he's probably still at the table. He's still no, at the table. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll walk away and he's like, but I still have so much meat. <laughs> oh no, he ate all that. He ate all two platters. Yes, yeah, so and they yeah. brought you more. Goodness it's gracious. Like, it's, it's like yeah, in uh, Infinity War or whatever, where poured with a um, ever filling. Yeah, or was that it wrong? I think it was. I think that was wrong in the rock. But okay. yeah, that was Ragnarok. Yeah. Oh. It's like that. You, you you eat a piece of a chicken and a new piece just grows out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Right, you dump the whole plate on your throat and then you put it down and somehow it's full again. We get the transformation music. Yeah. Several people say, oh my god, my eyes! <laughs> he glows Heard brightly <laughs> and begins uh, performing his uh, martial arts uh, kata as armor appears all over his body. But he does it here? Yup! Yeah, oh, right I'm, 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 lo- I'm looking away and covering my eyes. Oh, again. <laughs> Everyone must witness the power of God. <laughs> and then after the most cool. protracted two seconds of your entire life, <laughs> <laughs> he is... It always feels like it takes an eternity. He is uh, fully armored. Almost like you see it from every angle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
I don't, I don't see Morgan's token. I, just, I saw the glow, the fire glow, but I don't see the token. You don't see Riken's token? It was doing a spinny dance. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> You're fine. lying to me? No. I don't, he's not here. What? I he is now that. occupying the same square as you. What? Why Why is that? Okay. That That is why I didn't see him. That also explained the, where the glow came from, because that was confusing me. Yeah, the glow came from somebody else activating a lantern. Oh, okay. Or a torch, I guess. Boof. Yeah, boof. He was that's, doing... That's, he, was, he was twirling the whole time, like yeah. this. He was like, wee. Alright, anyway. You gather up. You... Finish your ritual, Laramendus. Who is not on the telepathic bond? Oh, uh, Yukikaze. I think we should just keep doing what we've been doing. Eight creatures can be on it. Is that correct? Sam stepped away to... No. <laughs> So, take, take care of his kitty cat. Yeah, so. I'm assuming he's not back yet. I, I take it you never noticed when Askel was sending messages in the program. <laughs> I know it. I'm not yeah, sure. I, I, I didn't know you could do that. Mm, I mistook who the speech bubble was coming out of. <laughs> Interesting. Not what I wanted. In any event. Uh, interesting. No. So you need permission to attack, but you don't need permission to magic missile. Well, that's just strange. strange. <laughs> Stop <laughs> attacking <laughs> Riken with magic missile. <laughs> or Yukikaze, yeah, actually. Yeah, Yukikaze, yeah. It, it looks like Restum is trying to speak friend to Ender. He is trying. Very hard. This damn door just won't open. Uh, maybe exit. It's annoying that the doors don't open the same direction. Yeah, it is really unfortunate. Yeah, because that's the only one that doesn't have the, the double door option. Oh, Sam is back. Um, Check. during the water. <laughs> you won't slice in the world. Alright. Sam, who is not on <laughs> the, uh, telepathic bond? Oh, no. Um. Uh, don't go in the water. You can't get back up. <laughs> oh, no. I was about to do <laughs> so funny. Yeah, oh, stop moving! Uh, <laughs> uh, did, did we want to have somebody other than Yukikaze have Yukikaze be brought into it this time since he had been out of it yesterday? Yuki? That's up to you guys so we can do what we have been doing. I'm fine with you, there. Is there anything pressing you need to discuss with me while we walk? I just uh, ask if there is anything of importance that you guys talk about to make sure you mention to me when you do get the time. What did you attack? Oh. Being murdered by NPCs. You guys, you heard me? Yeah. Yep. So I'm just waiting for the final, uh, final decision from Lara Mendes on who's out. Since... If I remember correctly, you can have eight creatures. 
Yeah, so I, I think we'll just keep going with uh, what it was last time, because it's easy. I don't remember which of the um, guards have been, which of the guys have been. Aaron was the one who had been in. Okay. Okay, let's let's just do the same thing as uh, as yesterday. No, no Thela. No, no Rezim. Rezim. No Yuki Kaze. Or is One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Okay. So there's the cool. That's the breakdown. So now I should be able to move maps. Thick. Oh. I am waiting on GM. So am I. Waiting on. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot it's because you're the board. Right. I think they asked for the board for us to be able to do anything. How do I tell it to send you to my... I... I, I know it's a board, I just don't know what it is offhand. Um, if you come back to this board, you could just tell us which one to go to, or you can move to it. Which well, that's what I did. Wait, are you able to move to a board? Yes, I can... You, If you have... If the GM is on the same board as you are, you can open up the board selection area and pick which one you want to go to. But then you can't do it until the DM shows up. I again. thought I could drag everyone with me. There is some way to do it. I don't know what it is offhand. Um, game mastering tools. I can see the boards I can go to. Say the all next slides don't keep. Magnificent pattern. Where is that? How, what? You have to hit the uh, space bar. Hits, yeah, hit space bar and go top left. There's boards. Uh, I want the Underdark random, but I thought that if I hit the go to board play button on it, it would take the whole group with me. Yeah, I, I click it and I went there, but it's now it's just waiting on DM, obviously. Okay. So you're just trying to tell us which board to go to, I guess. Underdark random. Yep, I'm moving. Oh, it's all green and slumpy. Yep. Yeah. Waiting for Yuki Kaze to disappear. I don't know if the token comes with me, though. It right. doesn't, but we have them here any already from when we were building. Yeah. Nice. I think I clicked the right way. What would you want to get? You're going to hit spacebar to bring up the menus. Hit the oh, very top no. left globe button. Yeah. And then go to underdark random dot dot dot. All right, I can move again. Go. All right, so everybody should be okay. hopefully where I left them. Now I'm gonna try to find where we are. Um. Oh, where'd they go? I don't know. All right, well I'm gonna place them where I want them. Okay. So, pull out eight creature. Quick. There we go. Not work. I know I had put them all on the board. I just don't know where they went. Same. Yeah, I don't see them. You have to drag them one by one. Can you like shift click? I wish. Bela. Star. And Yukikaze. There. They're all here now. Alright. Um, I'm... Uh. Oh. Look for the giant sphere right in there. Yep. For those of you who also, don't know where you're Okay, so I have to, like, move the layer. There we go. Yep. yep. Or you can double right-click on the level you want to be at. Yeah, but if I double right-click, that would have ended up on the roof, wouldn't I? Because I was so high up, the like the the green bar was so high up. Mm -hmm. Any of right. that sphere everyone is know where, where everyone's at? token is. It's not working for me. Like I can't oh, move the layer so I can see inside the cave. Can you? Do you see the the bar at the far right oh. of the screen? Yes. Uh, it I also don't... says locked. Or did uh, I press the wrong it... thing? It's, it's like a lock. 
His the lock is always there. It's bad UX that it looks like a lock always. Um, no, it's no, just no. lit up or not lit up. No, uh, that's not what it is. There's oh, okay. My character's in there now. I almost, I almost just just drag the green thing pretty much down to the bottom. Yeah, I don't know why it had unseated people's control of their character, and I don't know what that was all about. Oh, I honestly don't know what the lock is, but it does. The lock makes it so that so if you click it, it'll turn green, and while it's green, it will not automatically move itself around. Whereas if you like click your character and then tell your character to move, it would automatically slide that green thing around to choose uh... what it thinks is the proper level. There we go. I just had to zoom in. <laughs> Yep. I was zoomed too far out. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the removing of levels is based entirely on where your camera is, and if your camera is not close enough, it won't remove the levels. It doesn't. It's not a universal layer removal. It's only in a small square. So it's safe on resources and whatnot. Yeah, and this is all as we learn this new program. Unfortunately, the big thing at the end of this, I have been trying to make uh, in this program, and it's just... The program is good for small, tight battle um, maps, but for, like, large sweeping landscapes and stuff like that, it really requires a lot of work. Indeed. Work, which I have not had the patience to put in. But in any event, so all of you are now here. This is the, the little tunnel. Uh, that you have been uh, led down. Uh, this is where you put up your stone wall uh, after uh, to, to make the mansion. I assume for those of you with dark vision, it's going to take a little for your eyes to uh, get used to the difference between the bright light we just were in and the darkness air. Um... I mean, dark vision is dark vision. There's nothing in the rules that says. But I mean, sure, you go through a few seconds of adjustment as you, uh, uh, you know, go from the bright daylight into the dark cave. You know, it just it feels like you've been shoved into utter, utter darkness. And especially for with devil sight, you very quickly adjust to it. Yeah, I mean, everybody it, else. It, looks, it, it would look the same to me. <laughs> the color bleeds away. Yeah. Everything looks like daylight to me. So, the De devil side is weird. Devil side is weird. All right. So, um, Aaron and Thela are going to begin uh, doing their guide stuff again. Um, I'm going to cast Mage Armor. Good idea. Uh, I think I also need to cast Stone Shape to open up the the area, right? Uh, I do believe you would need to do that, yes, because there is stone blocking the entrance. Marking that one off, too. Alrighty. So, what I'm going to have all of you do is uh, roll stealth. I want you to roll two checks of stealth. Each. Okay. And place them in the chat for me. Is the order important? I mean, I, oh, I guess so, yes. It's going to affect when, uh, you know, like, it's going to be like the first four hours and the second four hours, basically. Tell me what, what Cyrus rolled. <laughs> yeah, we laugh at Vendor, but honestly, he can't roll lower than a 10. No... What the hell? How is that possible? That is the weirdest fucking thing. So, nothing in... Oh, I do have all this stuff. I, I literally rolled a 1 for the first roll and a 20 for the second. Nice. That's wet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Stealth. Oh, yeah, I'm shitty. Oh yeah, I'm shitty at this, and I have disadvantage now that I'm wearing heavy armor again. So there we go. All the way. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. So now, now we know the entire range only a stealth because that is it. <laughs> All right. So 
two two different rolls of it? Yes, please. Okay. I put that in the wrong one. Damn it. <laughs> I, I see ping. that. <laughs> I put it in the ping, not the snark. It would have been correct if everybody else had been putting it in ping, let's just say that. <laughs> I would have accepted either. Ikikaze is stumbling around because he ate too much. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Wow. Ikikaze and you... Riken got the same. Apparently, if you open up the uh, the chat history on Tailspire, you can also see um, who rolled what. You really rolled exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You both rolled goodness. sixty nine. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think of that either. <laughs> right. Well, cool on D and D Beyond that uh, told me what Cyrus rolled. Right. We're fucked. <laughs> Hey, Team Clank. I have a, a plugin for Chrome that lets me uh, click a button on Danny Beyond and then it'll give me the dice to roll in Tailspire. Mm. You seriously, not only did they roll the same, but both were six and nine. Yep. <laughs> but the same, it's both terrible. Yeah, yep. but six first, and nine those specific first, numbers uh, roll oh. i had disadvantage so i rolled seven and eleven so ended up six and then second roll was ten and eleven so we got nine yep seven and eleven <laughs> did not like you, <laughs> Told you I, like fun. I like funny numbers why are we working this way okay there, there's... because you're following the uh brow who are leading the way. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't see the draw because I wasn't angled right. Uh, I can see them. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you should, at this point, choose your marching order. Wherever I I'm just... put, I don't particularly care as long as I'm next to draw. I'm trying to be as center as possible because that's what we agreed on in the Underdark. Riken should probably be closer to the middle for people to get his bonus, but <laughs> terrible for him. <laughs> He's supposed to be a frontline person. Mm. And you could just be frontline because I mean the people who are gonna need that save the most are the people in front. Yeah, I would say be up there next to all the uh, layout up there. That's where you are. You the red one. Hey Leo, wanna switch? Uh switch Oh oh yeah, I guess sure. Oh I that work. Right. work. As uh work. Resum steps around the corner, you do hear this uh clanking as he uh, pats his leg and sighs. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna... You all can... I wish I could move more than one token at once. Yeah. You might be better off just making one of those travel large and then shrinking it back down and get where we're gonna stop. Ho hopefully, like a drag and move option for uh, DMs is going to be added down the line. It's still, you know, early this game. Mm. What would be nice would be if the like the the rulers, if the rulers could have you snap to them. That would be nice. Mm. So you could be like, whoop, I'm moving this way now. Then your character actually does it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Have you gotten to experience combat mode oh. in this? No. Okay. Apparently I can only see straight to a certain distance because I can't see Aaron or Thaba anymore and they were just going straight. <laughs> Maybe it properly programmed your dark vision. I doubt that. Especially since the dark vision I have comes from a magic item that doesn't know about. Mm. 
Yeah, exactly. I'll Same here. I, I, I can't see them that far either, and I would be able to. Limitations of the program. Yeah. They're working on a fog of war, so that will probably add dark vision with it. I mean, you can activate that, but it's very early access, so it warns you about it. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, if you click the cogwheel and under other settings, there's a uh, fog of war tech demo. Okay. Alright. <sighs> You are moving as stealthily as you can uh, through the um, caves, following Irin and Thela as they go. Everybody's doing a really good job, even in spite of the heavy armor squeaking now and then. <laughs> Clinking. Um, but at some point, um, <clears throat> uh, Yukikaze just trips over something, an errant stone or mushroom, and goes clattering to the floor, at which point Riken shouts, Hey, are you okay? And Leah goes, Shh! And Leah says, Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, now, the more I think about it, I think it would just be Riken laughing at him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's more that's that's <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Just, oh shit, crash! And then laughter, raucous laughter, and Leah going, shh! <laughs> We're supposed to be quiet. And just like last time, you hear a, a undercommon voice shouting, intruders, get them. And I sigh silently. I'll have to do it after this one, I guess. I forgot to Blinks just into the shadows. cut holes in the back of my shirt so that it doesn't explode if I want to use my wings. Because I can mm. fix a, I can fix a cut, but I can't fix explosion. <laughs> An explosion. Meanwhile, Lola is burving her face and hands deeper than Leah has ever seen her do it before. <laughs> Close. Oh, yeah. Also, you know, for a, a sprite, it's very easy to stealth, considering they're just flattering the air, you know? Yup. It would be like trying to find a fly in a dark room. Like... <laughs> Alright, roll up invisible. your initiatives. What? How do you add pluses to it again? Uh, I said that's also invisible about the sprites. I only have the pluses because I have a plug-in on d and Beyond. There isn't a way to add it manually. Okay. Yeah, just do your head math. I, if if my die is gonna continue in this right, I I did give me once or twenty. I don't know how this is fight is going to end. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, just like Riken usually does. You know, <laughs> I I got my my finally entered my new feed in, and then I go and I roll one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That just seems fitting. That's bullcrap. I didn't think Riker would beat someone this time. You might say that today is his. <laughs> I would. Oh, should, should Lorla have her on in it or go with Leah? We kind of. I'm not sure what they usually end up on. <sighs> um. She, she can just go on your net for now. Okay. That's what it's like in the book, but, you know, we, we have sometimes just decided to go differently. Mm -hmm. 5d20s, and the highest I got was a 13, which would have been a 12. That's how I roll on this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nice. Oh. Alright. Cyrus, tell me what you got. 16. Thundar, what do you got? 15. 15. Jebel, what do you got? 13. 13. Laramendus. 18. 18. 
by the way, I uh, I rolled for the Nemo Shroud of Healing this morning. I got an eight, so it's up to full. <laughs> there you go. Alright, uh, Leah. That's roll 20. Okay. Uh, Yukikaze. A one! And that one. <laughs> uh, Doral. I mean, it makes sense. He tripped and fell on the ground. So. Yep. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, absolutely> does. <laughs> and then Riken laughed at him, so he wasn't ready, but he was at least a little more ready. A little bit. Does that mean he has to start fight prone? Or did he get it to get up? <laughs> I'll, because it was just a stealth cinematic thing, I'm not going to make him start the fight prone unless he wants to. Uh, Riken, what was yours? Three. Three. Wow. All right. Well, you're not last. <laughs> no. Uh, that's not surprised I beat somebody. <laughs> What's more surprising to me is that the Wendar is almost exactly in the middle. I only rolled yeah, a ten. Yeah. Very rare. Yeah. I rolled low. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Once I level, I'll get alert, and then a, a ten will be a twenty. <laughs> Christ. Plus 10. That's a lot. Yup. Gonna make those not one suck, though. <laughs> Cause even a 2 is still a decent initiative at that point. Mm. I don't think I've ever rolled in that one on an issue. Uh, Cyrus, what's your plus to in it? Uh, 3. I uh, don't think you have Jacob. I think that's something we would remember. Yeah, it'd be a big deal. Alright. It would be the same as if Riken rolled on that 20. Without someone else also rolling on that 20, because I think that have happened. <laughs> yeah, I think it did happen, but three other people, <laughs> or like two other people did. But he's still third. Tristan, I think I also uh, found something that you might have to edit. What's up? Uh, on the armor. Oh. My bad. I think, um, based off of what I'm seeing, I think um, I might have one less strength than what I'm supposed to have. I'll check it. All right. Uh, let me quickly see if I can check on that first. Oh wait, no, wait. No, never mind. No, it's correct. I was looking at the wrong thing for it. You're good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, base score like, 14 and you have a 20. Yeah, you got I'm a not, lot of things uh, adding to it. Thing. No, you're good. Okay. Uh, my bad. What's the miscellaneous bonus? I know what the stacking bonus is. What's the miscellaneous bonus? Was that just from training? Uh, hold on. I don't even remember. Crap. Then there's an uh, other modifier. Numbers all over this. I'm so... <laughs> I don't think I changed anything that I wasn't supposed to. So I'll have to go and look through. I don't know what the other modifier is or what it I does. I know one something. So one of the belt of Riken strength is at least one of the points. Okay. Quickly look at that. Uh, Belt of Riken Strength. Oh, 
Well, if I just take it off, what happens? It goes down to an 18. Okay. Well, the bracket strength only ever added two, right? Uh, was it two or was it? Let's. Uh, it would be, be nice if I actually said it on here. Yeah, it's really strange to me that all that stuff that I wrote down isn't visible here. Very frustrating. Uh, but in any event, uh... Boom. I mean, yeah. And then it's just the armor. It brought it down to a 20 when I, uh when I drop the uh, belt of Riken strength, so that's correct. This is it's two. Twenty-two. Jesus. <laughs> From a base score of fourteen. <laughs> I still don't know what that modifier is though. I don't know either, but it's not doing anything. Like Base score 14, racial bonus 16, 19, no this would only be 21, and then it becomes 22. Number of cord add. Well he added plus 2. Okay. I mean it's doing it correctly. But I mean, so take the armor cord off. That's two, so that brings it down to twenty. The Riken strength takes two off, so that brings it down to eighteen. The racial bonus, if you took that off, that brings it down to sixteen. So there's a plus two that I yeah. don't know. Yeah, I remember what that miscellaneous. I wish you could write a note and say what the miscellaneous bonus and the other modifier was. It's just there's just two things in there I don't understand. Couldn't it only be 20? Has your strength always been 22? Right. Does that feel right to you? I mean... As far as I knew, it was 22. Okay. Um, then we're... I'll take a look at it after. Yeah, Maybe. I'm sure that there was something that happened somewhere along the way that gave you that. Maybe the miscellaneous bonus is really, it should be coming from, you know, Heavy Armor Master. Uh, uh, that might be one of the, well, that, that is probably one of the, yeah, one of the miscellaneous, and the yeah. other two is probably from... I'm guessing that the one that just says other modifier, when you stayed, when you passed your ten days in Volinar and you chose to gain skills or whatever, did you just gain a point of strength? Because you had spent all that time fighting? Might have been. I know that was one of the things he picked. I don't know what the other thing was, but that was part of it. And there you go. Okay. That's why you have 22. Okay. So, everything seems fine to me. Very high. Alright, now then, I should be able to go turn based mode, initiative mode, gear. And I do things. Uh, Leah, yes. Wow. Uh, up. And then... Uh, Lair. And Cyrus. And your guides. And then Bendar, who is there. And Doral, who is there. And then Jebu, who is there, there, thank you. And then Raiken, this one, and then Yuki, this one, and I forgot Resin. There's too many people! Too many people. Mm. 
Are we gonna use the uh, tail spire? What do you mean for this? Yeah. Yeah. I just. So each each square is five feet. Yep. Okay. You'll see that we are now in a turn order. Be displayed at the top of your screen. Uh, I do not have that on my screen. I, I do not on have that. I see it on the stream. Okay. I see it on the stream, but I don't see it on my screen for some reason. And Sam, you know what it's supposed to look like for my game. So, is this right or wrong? Uh, I mean, it usually looks like what it looks like on the stream. Except instead oh. of next, it says it would say done. Uh, like if it was my turn. Uh, but Weird. I, it. Nobody's seeing it appear on their screen. I nope. see, I see a thing at the top. Oh, wait, not on the stream. Yeah, it's no, still no, treating no. me like I'm in explore about. mode because I can still yeah. move around and it's not my turn. All right, what am I? What do you usually hit? Um, you could try just applying the turn order again, but might I just did. not have noticed that you switched to turn mode at all because normally that locks you down. All right. Turn based. How about that? No. Uh, nope. Oh. What? Yeah, wait, I just said my turn. It said, I, it said everyone's your turn because it said it for okay. me too. Because well, okay, he was just going quickly and everything. I just scrolled entirely through one one round. Did that change anything for anybody? Uh, no, it still does not have it. You're not locked down? Um. No, nope, I'm able to move. Okay, what Weird. the fuck? I don't know. What the fuck? For some reason, this program seems to not like you. Everybody's player. Fight code. Summon. Oh, there it is. It's summon players to this board. You have to click on players. Well, that's good to know. Still, nobody sees this character, the turn order. Nope. Uh, right now, no. Players are being summoned. Uh, Why doesn't it function? I think it will. Let's see if the tutorial says anything about it. I realized I was muted that entire time. Welcome back. Uh, I made a joke about you finding how to teleport us. You know, when you miss something and when look looking for it, you find something you missed another time. Mm. Why am I inside? I was inside someone. Go on. I, um, I, I don't was, know. I was on a snap to the grid. I can fix that. You snap to the grid, okay. I do not know what the issue is. You know what? I'm going to disconnect and reconnect and see if that does something. Okay. Oh, no, it's snapped to the grid. Oh! Oh! Hey, there it goes. Up. What happened? I can see it. Oh, oh it broke the second I left. Yeah, apparently, yeah. apparently Derek was the issue. <laughs> Derek was the issue. They were still out of in-game master mode when we started this, and I got switched back mid-session. Mid could that have something to do with it? Also, I have no uh, idea. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong board. So if you could summon players, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I can probably do that. Players, summon players. Okay, you... I'm here. I have turn order. Yeah. Okay. I think it has something to do with me having GM powers at the start of this. Weird. Okay. So, uh, is Leah. Cyrus on the on the order? Uh, probably. Yeah. Right there. Oh, okay, it's scrolls, okay. Yeah. Alright. Yes, there, there are more than just that. I mean, I can click... Oh, I can hover over them and then lights them up. That's cool. Yeah. Yep, you can click them and you also go straight to them so you can identify what enemies like next in the order. Ah. Assuming they're not, like, hidden, in which case I think yeah. it won't. Alright, so, mm -hmm. Leah, you are in this cavern here with rocks cover, um, you know, Florida ceiling stalagmites 
uh, and you heard a voice echo around it. You're not sure where exactly where it came from due to the nature of the cave. Possibly ahead. What do you want to do for your turn? Uh... Okay. Uh, that that was annoying. Why are you, do, why are you doing that? Why did you stop? I didn't okay. do anything. Uh, Somebody's using a measure tool. Yeah. It was uh, very bright and very big. I'm gonna walk over here. Mm -hmm. This is 30 feet, so it should be my uh, walk distance. I assume I cannot see anything yet. Um, should be able to spin your screen and see. But your walk distance, you should know your walk distance is 30 feet. Yeah, I walked 30 feet that I'm there now. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I cannot see any creatures. So uh, I'm just gonna stand there and be on guard. Isn't a question, is walking through a friendly, difficult terrain? I can't remember. Yes, walking through a friendly, oh, difficult terrain. Oh, I forgot about that. Shite. Then I should not be able to get that far. Yeah, you just went too far. Mm. There then. There. What's wrong with those tools? Wait, what? Learning curves! Yeah, it sometimes takes a moment. But yeah. Not sure. Okay. 25 feet. Looks good. Yeah. And this also, like, yeah. Uh, you can do this as well. Yeah. Yep. There's lots of different measuring tools. Alright. Uh, you don't see anything from where you are, so what would you like to do? Uh, just be on guard. Um, yeah. uh, can I... We, we, we agree that I can... Um, ready Elder's Blast, right? It just It's just cast first. Yes. Yeah, then I'm gonna ready Elder's Blast and shoot whatever comes through that corner. Okay. Then because I have, I have a hunch that they're inside that room, so I'm waiting until something comes out that room. It does become their turn. <laughs> I can see them. Okay. If you would like to attack, you have... They, he has cover. Well, I said as soon as they come out of the room, didn't I? You did. Would you like yeah. to take your prepared action? Well, they're not out of the room yet, but I can see them. Um... But yeah, I am, I am going to use it. Okay. <laughs> then please roll an <laughs> attack. I was just contemplating. Uh... I assume the first one hit miss. I'm just gonna have to miss a while, so I'm just gonna have to double check. Uh, it's 12, okay. Uh, 15. A 15. Let's see. That beats the AC of your target plus their cover. It does not. Okay. Second. Uh, 20. Not natural. Okay. Uh, much better, but still doesn't beat it. Okay. One more. Yeah, I dropped my die. I just got <laughs> yeah. Out of curiosity, you do you have Spell Sniper or no? No. No, okay. Making sure. Never, I've never been able to get that. I mean, I... I I chose differently yes, last yes. time we had that. <laughs> Just wanted to make um, sure. It's like, well, wait, if you have Spell Sniper, then the cover wouldn't be doing anything, but if you don't have it, uh, then yes, this is correct. Uh, it's something I've been considering getting next time, but it, uh, it's still a ways away from next time we can do that. Mm. Uh, because that is, yeah, that is when you choose uh, ability scores, right? Right. So what yeah, are you doing uh, with your, what's your third to hit? 
Um, smaller than last time, so it not okay. But yeah, it all pss, 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 hits the uh, stone around the creature. It was 18, but yeah. Um, dang it. Well, they're there, guys. Around the corner. <laughs> Rocks, like, fly out from where, where the force of the Elders Blast hit the corner. <laughs> Alright, Laramendus, you're up. Okay. Um... I know... Leah went that way and could see things, so... Two... Three... Four... Five... Can I see the one in the doorway here? Yeah, yes, they don't right. render in if you can't see them. Uh, they render in if an ally can see them. Oh. Yes, that, you can see him. That. Okay, uh, I am going to shoot a Ray of Frost. Do you have Spell Sniper? I do. Okay. And please roll it. Um, that is a 20. A20. Let's see here. Yes, A20 will just meet his AC with half cover. So you hit. Sweet. Uh, get some D8s, which I will roll. And not do extremely poorly on. That's 16. You have 60 feet of dark vision, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, he's getting toward the edge of your dark vision, but you can see that it is a drow soldier uh, wearing armor. You can see that one of his, the foot that is in view, uh, appears to be bare. But he's wearing armor over the rest of his body. Well, I hope he doesn't get cold feet. Ha 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 ha! There's inspiration for that. Uh, 16 points to that telepathically or out loud. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, uh, that is just for the benefit of the audience. Yeah, oh, that, that, that is Sam. That, that is not that, Claire Mendes. And, and thus, we have lost our uh, high person. The puns. The puns are too strong. And then... Oh, why am I trying to do it this way when I can do it differently? Right. I can do things now. Okay. Oh. Oh. first. Um. Alright. I will... Move. stick here. You know, taking cover behind this pillar. Uh, and I will uh, bonus action cast uh, mirror image. Okay. And I will prepare uh, to cast firebolt um, if something comes within range without cover. Or at least without three quarters cover. Okay. Spend the spell slots on the points. And is that done? Yeah, I'll, I'll call that done. And I will kind of torture myself to mark that I have... Uh, not concentration, but I have some sort of buff going. Okay. Uh, you... Well, actually, I do have concentration from the pairing. You see uh, Irin and Thela exchange uh, some gestures in their sign language and Aaron is going to 
I'm gonna squeeze past uh, Riken. Take cover. Oh, fitting that Eren and Taylor are li right next to each other in it. I only rolled one die for them. So that they would be. Well, thank you for taking away the fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Much easier to run on PCs like that. <laughs> I mean, that's even technically how you're supposed to. It has this, like, the same creature block. It's meant to just roll one initiative die. Mm-hmm. Alright. I just realized that Jebel's hat have eyes. Uh, Thela is going to charge forward uh, to the entrance and then take up a defensive posture there and begin um, goading them with slurs and under common. Bendar. Oh, I'm learning so much. Yuki Kaze is in my space. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to do? Okay. I think he's doing a measure. Yes. I don't see him uh, measuring from Yukikaze. Yeah. Uh, it's the mm. angle. It looked like it was me from the angle I was at. Oh, okay. You got the red thing on your head. Uh, yeah, but Yukikaze was between me and the angle, so when I clicked on me, I clicked on the top of Yukikaze's head. <laughs> No worries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dash over here. Alrighty. And then I'll take a shot. I think there's oh, a mushroom there. there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there's oh, a guy standing on. There's a die. I'm behind the mushroom. Yep, there's a d20. It's, oh, it's what's yes. keeping him up. I don't see the d20. There's a D20 that is not what I'm standing on, that is... over here. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, you aren't standing on it. I'm standing on a mushroom. Yeah, I think it's the mushroom. Okay, you have clear line of sight uh, to the drow soldier in the doorway. Uh, you do notice that uh, he appears to be illuminated by a torch. Uh, please say that mushroom was one of those that... Uh, that becomes smoke if you step on them. So when they step there and it's like. Cover. <laughs> hey. You got this. Hey, uh. Ooh. Ooh, so a 28. Wow. Yeah, that's that's definitely gonna hit. This poor Drow soldier. Yeah, uh, also by the by the way, if you click on the cogwheel on the top right and go to other settings, you can snap uh creature to grid. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier to stand in the center of a square. I haven't even bothered doing that just because I usually move things using the arrow keys, which puts them in the center anyway. Yeah. But I I like dragging sometimes and this makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Also when you want to rotate the character and such. Uh, don't get sneak attack because he's already had his turn in initiative and no one's near him. He knows where I am. So. If he doesn't, he, he doesn't will. Remember, if your poison wasn't already on, you can't turn it on because you dashed with your bonus action. I didn't turn it off, so okay. it should be on. Murder this man! Just aim for the right drow. We don't want to lose Sailor. I mean, now you can just hold down tab. You know which one's the right drow. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah, well, in character you can't hold tab. Fine. 
Right. It's 39 poison damage. <laughs> and... But hey, it's... And, so... and piercing damage. And piercing or damage? Or lightning, lightning damage. And lightning, lightning damage. Nice. Okay. Alright, DC 19 con save. If he makes it, then he only takes half the poison damage. It does not make it, so it's the full 39? Yep. Okay. Um, they are still standing, but they seem to be in a really bad way after that arrow strikes them. Thought there was a D4 there, it was just a mushroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got anything else this turn, or are you done? Oh, I'm done. Alright. On Doral's turn, he's actually going to um, move over here and press himself up against the wall. Like, I'm gonna sit this one out. Unless I'm truly needed. Don't hurt yourself. Jibble! We should be fine. Come on. Let's see. You, Jebel, your line of sight. Oh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, the one with the weird green hat that have eyes on it. Supposed <laughs> to be a frog? Yeah, Finish but one of, the, one, of the, one of the eyes are like mechanic. Because he's a tinker. All right, so your line of sight is out to there currently. So you know that Thela appears to be facing an enemy. He has shouted, uh, uh, encouragement, uh, at the wall there, which you can sort of see there is an opening with some light playing out of it. All right, um, uh, I do. Um, what's the range on that? 60 feet. He's fighting with the most powerful of weapons. Words. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Is that a person, like, diagonally, um, up from me? Right, uh, here? Or over here? The one far away. Is that where Vendar is? Did he run all that way over there? Over here, you're referring to the area that I'm putting a globe around. That's Vendar and Laramendus. You can hold tab Tristan so he can see the names. Hmm, true. But they're wrong. They are? <laughs> it says that Vendar is Resim, so I'm gonna say yes. Weird. Uh, well, it it's always smart for me, I don't know why it doesn't like Showing you the appropriate names. They're they're never it correct. Uh, this is hmm. correct for me. This correct for me. Correct for me too. I was worried about that earlier because we were at at the table. It showed my name over Jebel. Yeah. It always puts okay. the names over the wrong tokens on my screen. Uh, so, and it's so it not hates showing me you Alex at and all. Tristan. For some reason. There's no name over Laramendus, no name over Yukikaze. <laughs> no name so, over Resin. The wrong name over Vendar. No, huh. 25 feet. Wait, no, that's me. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. I can move 1, 2, 3, if I move four 
diagonally up left, up right, and then one forward then. Okay. <clears throat> Yep, you now have line of sight to a drow. Oh. Well, line was very wrong. <laughs> Sorry. It looked, it looked right from the angle I had it, but, but then I turned the camera. And then I cast... Fairy Fire, and it has a 20-foot cube. But I want to... I want to get that drow within the cube without it getting on... Thela. What's his name? Thela. 20 foot cube, you say? Yeah. It wouldn't be centered on him. It would be on the edge. He'd be on like, the edge of the cube so that it would go around him. But not as uh, centered on him, which is. Well, if it's a 20 foot on a side, then it's only a 10 foot radius, right? 20 foot cube, I think, is... It just says 20 foot cube. Cool. <laughs> so uh, I think that is a 10 foot radius. Because yeah. cubes are weird. And if I stick with my way of doing things, which was the 4th edition way of doing things, that makes it a burst too. Which means that it would come, it would be, grab this thing, it would be this square, and this square out from this square, and this square out from him, this square, and this square, and then this square, and this square. So, basically 25 feet across. Right. Yep. And it would still miss Because in this edition, you don't target points, you target squares. I mean, there's never really been a benefit to targeting points. Yep. There's been a lot of additions where it says, yeah, you can target corners. I'm like, but why would I? It just makes counting the distances harder. Alright, so... This guy... Rolled for shit. Um... Pull this up. Uh... He got a, a 9 on his dexterity saving throw. Nope. Uh, the other guy got a 17... On his dexterity nope. saving throw. Nope. And the last one. Uh. Got a. 19. Yes. Okay. So. This guy. He has to meet the save. Uh, what? He has to meet the save, right? Yeah, they have to meet or beat. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, your save is like an AC, so if they get the same number, they still do it. Just been, what, a month? Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? Okay, so, the guy that you can see very clearly begins shedding a light of your color, uh, color of your choice. Pink. Alright, he's pink. That's exactly what I was thinking. Very good. Alright, so then... Anything else, Jibble? I don't think there's anything else I can do. Okay, Riken. Um. Did Resm go already? Resm's down here. He doesn't go yet. Uh, in the initiative order, actually on the stream, he supposed he was technically supposed to go before Jibble. Oh yeah, you're correct. What's his? If he had, a... we fine. both had thirteens. What's his initiative? Uh, plus three. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. We then... could just go after. Or we can. It, so uh, we it, 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 I... it doesn't matter. I'll have him go after you, Kikaze. Right, kid. What do you do? Uh. Okay. How far is it to the uh? Wherever everybody's looking. Since I'm kind of in a position, I don't 15, know. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It's 35 to get directly in front of Thela. 40 if you're going to go one past him. Um. He could probably 
get within, like, breath weapon range with 30 feet, because he'd be at the corner. Uh... For 30 feet, uh... that would put you at the corner. You could use a breath weapon. But uh, it's a line, so... So you'd really only be able to hit one person. Uh, I'll dash okay. and uh, go past uh, Thalen to the other square so okay. that uh, maybe people would be able to still aim into the hallway. Okay. You, uh, you turn and you see uh, that there are Two drow soldiers in front of you. One has is fully armored except for his feet. The other has no armor, uh, and a uh, uh, a drow female holding a staff um, who also has no armor. Uh, it looks like they might have just been bathing in this uh, hot spring. You can see is illuminated by torchlight uh, and a flow of lava on the back wall. Okay. Um, has anybody said that there's three units, or have they only been able to see, like, a couple? No one no has announced anything. Number. Okay. Then Riken will telepath, which unfortunately, yeah, not everyone's gonna get it, but he's gonna t at least telepath to the people who can who have it, that there's three units total that I see currently. Two right. soldiers and one look like a mage. Do you have any bonus actions you'd like to use? Um, let's see. Bonus actions... Not this round, no. Okay. Yukikaze. Alright. I am just going to move forward uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. And draw my weapon, er, my weapon and my shield, which is the key in Dragon Scale. Okay. Got it. And since I'm not dual wielding, it's an action to draw. Um, it's an right. action to put your shield on, and then you can draw your weapon in the same action you use to attack with it. So, you know, this would just be the okay. You can't actually get your weapon out right now. Um, so this is just it's why when people adventure in areas like this, they tend to just leave the shield on their arm. They don't have to spend a turn putting it on. Well, almost. That's what I'll do. Okay, you have the shield on. Key waits in one of your scabbards. Alright, and that will be my turn. Alright. Resin. Going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he is going to. Teleport 10, and he's going to take a shot at the person he can see. He's going to miss. Going to teleport another 10. And I'm going to shoot at the new person he can see, because that person doesn't have as much cover, and definitely doesn't have armor. He rolled terribly, but that's definitely going to hit. And so, he's going to do a bunch of force damage to them. Not bad. Gain force damage. And yeah. 15 force damage. Alright. Leah. Yeah. 
Let's see. I think it's really like that. Hmm. Uh, that should be able though. I assume I can't squeeze through those pillars. They're too close. They're too close. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that is not gonna work. Um. I mean, if I just go a little forward, I can see, so... If I go there... Yep, now you can see that target. He's got less cover now. Yeah, he still has cover, but yeah, he does not. Yeah, the, yeah, the other one still has pretty much... I think he has total cover from you. Yeah. yeah. Um... Okay, so that's 10 feet. I can't do that. Maybe even that. No, that's too far. But I can go there. That's 20. Yeah, that would be 30 feet. Yeah. Then I'm gonna do that. 15, 20, 25. Yeah. Alright, so you have 5 feet left you can do, actually. I just counted it out. Oh. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna stand there. Okay. Um... Because if I move further, um, I will be, you know, uh, the, the friendly targets will be breaking the lines. I don't know, I can see the third character. You can see I actually couldn't all. see it. Yeah, I actually couldn't see the third character, like, in-game. Uh, yeah, because there wasn't a player-controlled player character yeah. over there yet. Uh, now that one should have partly cover, and that one should be clear. Yep. Uh, so I'm gonna, hey, I'm gonna shoot at that one. Okay. The very armored one. Yeah, but that's it. Very armored one who's incredibly hurt. Uh, uh, actually, let's try. Let's try these. Why not? Uh, how do you I add more numbers to the die? I just click several times. Ah, okay. Let's, you can roll uh, more than one die at a time, but adding numbers is not part of the program. Oh. Okay, yeah, well, it adds, adds the numbers together, though. I don't want that. Sure, but, but I can see what they are. Um, those are yeah, all gonna eight, hit. Eight and a nothing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ridiculously then the... good roll. <laughs> see, it's not just my real life die. Sometimes okay. my luck is just so terrible. <laughs> your your minimum damage is is seven, right? Is uh, yeah. That. So uh, Eight. yeah. Uh, so he dies. Oh, okay. So the, it does, the D six doesn't matter. No, nothing. He had six HP left. Oh yeah, no. Oh, in that case, I can change the change one of them or two of them even. Mm -hmm. If you had six. Yeah, then the then one of them takes him out, and the other two I can aim towards someone else. What do you want to do with your other two yeah. bolts? Yeah, oh, oops. Yeah, so the first, hey, forget about those. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the first eighteen uh, went towards the guy that died. The because I remember the order. It was eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. Mm -hmm. So the other eight, eighteen, but yeah, well. Yeah, so the, the the other two went to the the one around the corner, uh, th that one. Okay, they're both gonna hit. Okay, um, because it's thirty and thirty-one, <laughs> even with cover, he doesn't have that much AC. He's naked. <laughs> this is very true. Um. I forget my. It's let's see. It's one d ten plus seven. Um. Each. Let's do, let's let's roll. Ah, well, no, it no, I ended up with two, so then it's two. 
<laughs> I was gonna. Oh, it actually shoots immediately. That's cool. Uh, okay, so um, four plus seven. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, for the first one. Okay. And uh, six plus. I didn't know it deleted both at the same time. Six plus seven for the other. So that's 13. you know uh, the thirteen. Yeah. I forgot to activate hex again. I also get to activate hex next time. <laughs> okay. Anything else for your turn? No, that's my turn. Okay. So all the fuff with the die. I'm trying to get used to this thing. Fine. All right. This guy is going to see the drow challenging him. Uh, prepared action. Mm-hmm. Here. Does a 16 hit? No. Uh, keeping in mind that I have a spell sniper in case there's cover. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's got no armor. Yes, a 16 hits. Okay. If he had armor, it would not have hit. Then I will roll me some damage. One moment. And it decided not to work. Great. Okay, so I'll have to just do it manually. One moment. I guess I can actually... Right-click and do attack, and that will target... Uh, I guess that's what you did. So, uh, he takes 23 points of unresistible fire damage. 23. Okay. Still standing. All right, moving on. Moving on. For his turn, he is going to attack the paladin in front of him. Not you, Riken. Coward. <laughs> A coward attacking the one that actually challenges him. Uh, let's see. Multi attack. Oh, old hit. It's a 18, which will hit Thela with what he's currently wearing for seven points. Go over here. Here and Thela's again. There you are. Okay. And... And poison damage. Roll again. And he's gonna hit again. Uh, for the same. Okay. Uh, Thela takes a big hit. Seems affected by the poison. That'll be... Going to try and move back in. I cover. Um, both uh, Thela and Riken get an attack of opportunity. I think you also lost the music. I did. I will turn it back on. Thank you. Luckily, we only just lost it. I 
I forgot to put in the loop command. Glad I extended that uh, playlist as much as I did. Okay. So, uh, Thaler's also gonna roll the hit. Wow, Thaler rolled a 19. I don't think he's going to miss this guy who's got no armor. <laughs> What do you got for me, Reckon? Uh, I have, uh, 22. Okay. The, the drow begins to step back, trying to disengage from you, and Thela thrusts forward with his short sword, jabbing the, uh, the offending drow in the gut. And as he pulls back away, sliding off the end of the blade, you bring your axe down. Uh, beheading him, he falls where he stood. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, did he have no HP that he just instantly died? He, he had basically nothing left after getting blasted for with all that fire damage. Yeah, okay. It's one way for Sentinel to work. Yeah, as well as the force damage from the, uh, you know, probably was very low. Oh, Riken has Sentinel? Doesn't he? Yeah, Riken has Sentinel. Oh, then he also could have attacked uh, when he when the Drow targeted uh, Thela. Oh, he can play his character. I, I was just... Yeah, just Alright, so... After that... It's going to be... The Priestess. Who has two pretties in her sight. Oh, what shall she do to you? She's probably very angry about her friend just losing his head. Friend? Friend's a strong word. Lord Minion? I mean, they just bathed together. I thought I was being... using too slow... Uh, too and... little of a bird. But, you know. You not drow and your weird ideas of what makes people close or not. I was hmm. hoping for a threesome in a pool, okay? <laughs> I don't can fantasize. Cast a spell. Nobody who could counter spell is line of sight to her. So she vanishes behind a layer of darkness that seems to fill the area over here. Out of darkness. Oi.
Aha. What? Lermondus. Okay. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to telepath. Is ever how many more? And expect a response. Reckon? Uh, we just finished one. There's only two that I still have used to see. I don't see them anymore. You know that the center of the room is filled with a cloud of darkness. Very okay. dark and cloudy. What do you do there? Uh, movement will bring me there. Okay. You can... Bridge not really appreciate what's going on in the room. Yeah. Um, so I think I will... I want to dash? I think I will dash. Okay. And get to here. Alright, you become aware of the cloud of darkness over the pool. Okay. Uh, and I will telepath. Let's make sure she can't get out of that. Or, I don't know that it's a, a priestess. Let's make sure that they can't get out of that. Alright. Say that. Do you do anything? Oh, uh, I will be in my turn, but... Alright. Cyrus. <laughs> Go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, dash, uh, 30, 35, uh, 40, 45, 50, uh, bonus action to spell. Hoping that it will open it up possibilities for others. Um, let's see here. Oh, I closed my sheet by mistake. All right, I will just roll it. It's just uh, it just uses my casting modifier, not the the spell uh, attack modifier, right? But the, the spell magic. I do. Believe All right, that's correct. correct. Uh, is yeah. yeah okay um I successfully dispel a third level spell okay I got 12 on the day so it just counter spell anything third level or lower not counter but um dispel and then the darkness vanishes you can see that she is moving toward the other end of the room and I'll say over telepathy. I took care I took care of the darkness. Someone try and catch her. And that's my turn, because I have moved action to end on this. Say about his turn, on his turn, he'll say, well, I haven't hunted followers of Loth before, but First time for everything. I have 30. And he's going to reach out a hand and shout in undercommon 
approach. And it's not going to work. I'm gonna say, just, just commanding a priestess. <laughs> I mean, it, it could work, <laughs> but the breeze just rolled an 18 on the die. That, that will make it difficult for it to work. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll save against pretty much anyone. Vendar. Okay. I can shoot around corners, right? Can Players I has. Okay. Then I get here and I'm gonna shoot her. Okay. You know what? I'll use sharpshooter because she doesn't have very much. Armor. So it's a 21 to hit. Okay. Get here. 20 when to hit, you say? Yep. Yep, that'll hit. Good. Do you see 19 con save? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All the dice is badness. Six poison. That was so many ones. Holy shit. And 17 lightning. Okay. Oh, but that was a very bad roll. <laughs> it was. 36 is not high, but... Yeah. So I mean, ones and twos. It's not high for that, but it's still high. It's not high, high for 12d6, it's still <laughs> a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, and... I missed something. Yeah, I didn't... Didn't make the save, so that was pretty nasty. Uh, anything else? Nope. Alright. Comes Resin's turn. Resin's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 30. I was hoping she would goofy in the water. <laughs> Ew. Teleport. Fire. Well, that's gonna miss. Keep rolling down below 5. And Oof. then. Teleport. Fire again. Okay, that'll hit. Feel a whopping... not very much. Not very much at all. Damage is damage. I guess 36 is exactly half of what I could have rolled, so... Hmm. Okay. That's it for resin. Jebel. Oh, um, where am I? You're the person with the glowing orb on them. Okay. How close can I get to the opening? Uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 would put you right uh, between Vendar and Riken. Which would give you line of sight. Okay. Um. I think. Oh, wait, and I don't have to check Dark there? Vision, this area is lit. Who's who in there? 
Uh, Thala is the drow closest to you. Resin is a little bit further ahead of Thala. And the priestess is the one at the other end of the pool. Alright. Uh, is the priestess one of the ones that has... No. Thing? No, no. fairy fire on the priestess. And just so you know, your distance to target is about 60. Yeah. Uh, anyone injured? Huh? Anyone injured? Thela is fairly injured. He got stabbed up by one of the other drow. The word is bonus action. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I can't get close. I'll cast Healing Word on Thela, so... Okay, how much HP does he gain? How much? Right. Um... Seven. Seven. Okay. And the rest of your turn. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else I can do. Oh. No cantrip or anything? Yeah, you can mm -hmm. still cast a cantrip. Yeah, well, none of the cantrips can really do anything. They can't really get in range. Oh. At, at 60 feet? Uh. Say, Thorwarp is 30 feet. Produce Flame has 30 feet. Minor Illusion, 30 feet. Mending, Mage oh, Hand. No. Yeah, Produce Flame's kind of poopy. Like, it's yeah, cool. It's basically, it's you're, throw, you have, you're throwing the thing, so it's like a range of 30. Okay. I can cast Message, but... Uh... Riken. 60 feet to the target. Bracken? Uh, I was muted. Um, how far is Resum ahead of Riken? Uh, less than 60 feet. 35 feet. Okay, good. He's going to go up 30 feet. Hey. And then he's going to Misty Step. To, 5, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25 would get you right on her. 30 would get you right next to her. Yeah, that's what I want, right next to her. Okay. I mean, 25 you'd be directly behind her, but this way you're next to her. And then I'm a slashy slash. That's <gasps> good. Uh, well, that's gonna be sucky 14 <laughs> she's not wearing much she's wearing enough to protect her from that damn it all right maybe number two yeah number two should do 27 that'll hit all right then we're gonna smitey smitey oh goodness Okay, what level smite? Uh, just level one. Okay. So, your slashy damage, and then uh, 2d8s of radiant damage. And plus one more da radiant damage, because of my improved. Yep. Okay, well, we have, let's scroll back up to make sure it's correctly, 
Uh, 14 points of non-magical silver slashing. <laughs> okay. And then 15 points of radiant damage. Okay. Um, okay. You, you bring your axe uh, across from behind her as she tries to run away, uh, catching her in the back, and then you charge it with divine energy. Uh, and radiant damage uh, burns her flesh and she falls to the ground as she uh, lies in the uh, steaming waters uh, gasping in pain she she looks at you with one of her red eyes and rests out an undercommon the overseer is expecting you Good, because we're expecting him. And she dies. And that's where we're holding for tonight. Dun dun dun. Woo. If I had more time, I'd search her pockets, but I didn't I jumped. So she was that close to dying. <laughs> she had seven HP when you attacked her. Damn it! I didn't need to smite! <laughs> well, hey, look at it this way. You only go for one smited. Oh. <laughs> Better than saving it. I, I maxed out on my freaking regular. <laughs> you know, I mean, I wasted a spell too. I wasted uh, Hell, I image. Actually, actually, if I minimized, I would have killed her. Because I automatically do 7 damage minimizing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's because you got like what? Yeah. Well, no, one? actually, no. I do a I do a minimum of eight because yeah. I'll have one and then two, one, two one dice plus fight. seven strength plus six six strength. Yeah, six. Yeah. So I don't know. A little a little rough for the first time we've done combat in the program, but I think we figured out. Well, we got it working. Whether or not we figured out why any of the problems were happening, but um, yeah, you you make it through the first. Uh, four hours of your long journey toward the city of Onyx, having completely disrupted what was probably a nice time. My poor, poor self. You know, I'm gonna self five because, other words, I cast mirror image for nothing. <laughs> you you high five one of your mirror images and it poofs. Whatever, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones look on in horror. <laughs> well, I mean, the other two, being that they're doing the same thing as him, high five each other and also poof. I mean, yeah, give it a few seconds, they would have poof from time, anyways. It's only a minute. <laughs> I mean, in in all fairness, they were the ones who, you know. Uh, charged us at least with words, like <laughs> yelled out, like get them. Otherwise, we probably would have tried that diplomatic route, knowing us. Mm. Or just snuck by. This was yeah. the diplomatic was route, <laughs> knowing you. <clears throat> I mean, shush. I, I <laughs> might have tried better. something with like the regular show, but uh, no, now of priestesses, that that needs to go. <laughs> mm. I didn't know about the priestess before we attacked. Neither did yeah, I, but, there. you know, once I got in the room... Once you got in the room, she was the only you one know, left. You know, in hindsight, <laughs> what I should have done was just fireballed the entire darkness. I could have let you know where they were. I attacked the darkness. I can see in perfect darkness. Even magical. <laughs> yep. uh, I'm, not, knowing, knowing I'm honestly not sure if I'm out. aware of that in character. Yeah, I know you know see it. better in darkness than me, but I don't know what the I think I said there. it. I'm pretty sure Leah said it at some point. Well, so sorry. Still. Anyways, it worked out well. And I uh. need to go for a little bit, so I'll be back later. What? You're not waiting for your XP? Uh, oh, right. Uh, I'll, I'll wait a few seconds. No, no, if you've got something to do... I mean, that would be a first, coming from Derek. Actually, it would be a second. I also uh, left before uh, I got the XP for the Golem fight. 
Did you even remember the time she leave before? Well, yeah, that was a big one, and it was because because well, I know how to talk with Trishan because I wasn't sure if I actually got the XP, and that was a big chunk to miss okay. if I did. The XP <laughs> for this fight is one thousand seventy-five. Nice. One zero seven five. Oh. That XP is such a weird number. Why does it end on 52? What the hell? A little over 17,000 Because go. you were playing the campaign when Tristan, what, before Tristan started rounding things off. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. I'm at, I have 48. That's my last two numbers. Mm. We, I, we I talked about, we talked about it. Like 57 for a while. Yeah, we talked about it before, but it's still bothering me. 52. <laughs> I think I specifically requested slightly less XP to round that off. Yeah, I think it did, Bones, yeah. I ignore three XP, so I get... Really? Yeah, I have to go to bed. Alright, have a good night. Thank you, stream. Thank you for everybody who showed up. And we will see you next Tuesday. Good night. Good night. Good night.